This is ABC tracking in out time and it's an example application so how you can punch in and punch out and keep track of all the minutes that are attributed to working on any particular task. Let's go up and take a look at how this works. Uh, at the high level projects have a bunch of tasks and as we scroll down and see all those tasks you can see that some of them are in process and being worked on because people have checked in and they're green. Uh, if you tried to check in while well, they're already checked in, you can see that you get an alert that says you're already clocked in. So here's one with Colleen, uh, server pretty is, hasn't started. Let's uh, clock in, time in. So what that does is, is that it logs the time that it's created. And, uh, and then, of course, when you check out, it takes the last modified date because it's been toggled to completed. And, uh, and it takes the difference of the two in minutes and displays them. And over on the right-hand side, you can see the total amount of time in this particular task was 124. Now, we just opened this one right here. And if I say time out here, uh, this will be very small, but let's give it a go uh, because of the time window. And you can see it's like, uh, yeah, this, this particular one is, um, is, is in minutes but uh, some of these are really small um, in time. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm gonna edit the field properties and take a look at this. So this is a really a rich text formula field and we're setting up a color gray that has words in it that says checkout. And we're setting up a green one which has incense and then it's inserting the time in to uh, display it on the button. And it says if the max record ID is greater than the, um, the out, then display the green one versus the gray one. And so uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Let's go down and take a look at the, um, uh, the child records here. So I know we're doing this at this level. Can you imagine if, uh, let's edit this one. Here we've got a task and we can scroll down and you can see that there was one logging of time that was at 158 and it was finished at 215 for 17 minutes. There's that one. The total minutes so far are what we've seen below. There's only one recording of time. Let's check in. And the same thing happens. What it does is it creates a child record. Now notice this equals this. If both of these equal this, we know that there hasn't been a completion so it's still indicating here that it is that we're punched in here and uh, and once again if we say time in it says you can't you've already been logged in so we'll log ourselves out and two things happen we've recorded an additional amount of time albeit very small 0 0.42 of a minute uh, but it increases the total number and rolls back up to the actual project up above. So let's go over to the actual time cards themselves and let's view one of these here. Uh, so it was created at this date stamp and it was modified in this date stamp. The delta between the two is this and it's toggled this one. Now this is a, a, a different button and if I edit the field properties of this one, this one is, is doing something similar. And it's really just saying, is the date created equal to the date modified, which means it's open. Uh, then do the green one. And once again, this is the variable for displaying the green one. It's taking the date created and peeling off the time of day. And it says it's been in since this time. Now, if they are not the same, then display the gray one, which up above says we're all checked out. Now let's take a look at what this looks like on a, on a mobile device. So uh, what I'll do is I'm going to toggle over to QuickTime Player so I can see something. So here's one, and I, I don't know that I played with this one since, but at the very bottom you can see that we're checked out. And so I'm going to check back in again. So I'm going to press the uh, time in. And down below here we're in since 218. And I'm going to press the time out now and now it's refreshed and now you can see we're checked out and it was a very small period of time um, but once again this is calculating the totals for this particular task so that is abc tracking in and out time and it's an example of how you can track time 
in a punch clock kind of a way.